Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 71. Let's go ahead and get started. A journalist? And you're on your way back? Yes, uh, we just finished our talk. Do you attend parties to get insights for your articles? Well, going there helps me learn a lot. If there's anything you'd like to know, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I felt the same when I last visited, but it is rather spacious in here. It really flies in the face of the rumors that say House Lapillion is closed off and unsociable. I wonder how much it took to build such a place. Uh, oh. I'm rather interested in the Lapillions, you see. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> the guys thought. <laughs> the Grand Duke is a man of prestige and the emperor's closest confidant, and yet his grace stayed only inside his manor. It's rather surprising that he's staying in the capital for so long. Actually, I ran into his grace, former, former wife, but, oh, actually, I ran into his grace, former wife, by chance, and she told me something rather odd. She constantly sent letters of proposal about three years ago and succeeded in winning his hand, which is all fairly well known. And then, well... Oops, sorry. As you might well know, the marriage after that was... No, I do not know. Why are you telling me this? Mm -mm. Please do not get upset. After the marriage, she moved into the Grand Duke's manor, and she was isolated in the annex from day one, left all alone. He neither tried to see her, nor did he treat her like a person. He seems rather flustered. She said she lost any will to go on with the marriage, but then again, I only believe half of it since it's only one person's claim. She has now gone back to her family's land. She no longer partake, partakes in social gatherings, so there's no way to hear news of her anymore. I just meant I don't want to hear of it anymore. I took you to be more perceptive than that. Is it a habit of yours to talk of other people's personal affairs like this? Oof. Oh, I thought this might be of help with your married life, so... You should know this is inappropriate, including what happened at that last party. Uh, to, to, to be honest, I think you're the most difficult person for me to read, Your Grace. I cannot tell if you're doing this because you're fond of his grace, or if you're drawing the line because you're not interested in him. Surely, I'm not obliged to answer that question. Farewell. My in-laws my in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 71 Do you have a moment? I ran into Adius just now. It's because of the article from Elias, is it not? About the claim that the Empire is trying to expand their territory through war. Are you in a difficult situation? Is it because of the fact that you went to war with Schwartz? Schwartz, you wrote an article again. 
You should have changed your name at least, just like how you did in Elias. And then I warn you already, with the flyers. I do have my assumptions about what you want, but that's enough as it is. If you're trying to use the Grand Duchess, stop. She has nothing to do with what I do. I don't understand why you're getting so upset. I wrote a rather positive article about her this time. Do you seriously believe I don't know your true intentions? Tell that to the mastermind behind this. Ooh, that's a cold look. <laughs> so what is his true intention? That's not the only reason why I called him here. Aedius is the crown princess confidant. But then, that's not an accurate description. Still, that's as far as you should know. I think they're mutually cooperating. He wrote the article in Elias, not purely out of his will, but because of the crown princess. Since her position in the palace is still unstable, she's trying to make sh such matters public to gather those against the emperor. Polluting the atmosphere around the empire itself is a success on her part. But the rumors say that Aedius is her lover. The Crown Princess calculates everything from her outfit to makeup, and she looks older than her actual age because that's her intention. She joins parties and public gatherings with good-looking nobles to strengthen her political foothold. And since she sponsors Aedius, it'd be more convenient that he rumor to be her lover. I see. That's a rather kind explanation. Thank you for the explanation. I thought you had the right to know, since the flyers criticizing our family exposed you to the rumors. It's fine. I expected as much before marrying you. I see. As for the matters about Reyna, let's ask uncle or my friends instead. This tea is rather bitter. You gave me this on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> but still, thanks to that. Please, excuse me. Hmm? What? May I come in? Oh, of course. Huh? The priests have come to visit. Greetings, your graces. Uh, we came about the partnership you offered us. That feels like ages ago. Totally forgot about that. Mm, or I didn't know about that, honestly. My brain is like kind of falling asleep because uh, I've been, I haven't really slept a lot and my baby has been a little crabby. Four month sleep regression is real, guys. Oh, goodness. Anyways, um, yeah. I'm just hoping like, uh, I keep on hoping each time I read that, you know, Parashati and the Grand Duke would just like, fall for each other more and more but so far it's like a halt like it's like a brick wall right now and uh all right anyways if you guys enjoyed the way i read this and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up and leave some comments if you guys enjoy the way i read this but my brain is tired i need a nap all right i'll catch you guys next time bye